You have learned brute force design technique. In this video, you learn what is divide and conquer technique is. Divide and conquer technique is well known algorithm. Here, in the first step, you are dividing the instance of problem into two or more smaller instances. Then solve smaller instances recursively. Obtain solution to original instance by combining these solutions. So here there are two steps here. That is divide the problem into smaller instance. Then in the conquering step, so you will be obtaining the solution for the original problem. We will see the flow chart for this. Example here, uh, problem of size n, divide the problem by 2 so that you will be getting two sub problems of size n by 2. Find the solution for small sub problem 1 and so small sub problem 2. Combine the solutions of these two sub problems to get the solution for original problem. This is the general plan for divide and conquer. So, these three steps are very important. You need to write that is dividing problem into smaller instance, then solve small, smaller instances recursively, obtaining the solution for the original. These three steps are called general plan for divide and conquer. Then write the flow chart. Then we'll see some examples here. Merge sort, quick sort, binary tree traversal, binary search, multiplication of large integers, Strassen's algorithm to find matrix multiplication, then closest pair and convex hull algorithm. This is the general recurrence relation for divide and conquer. You have seen in the flow chart, whenever you divide the problem by 2, so you will be getting 2 sub-problems sub of size n by 2. If you want to know the time complexity of the problem of size n, then you need to know the time complexity of the smaller sub problem of size n by 2. How many such are there in this example? It is 2. But in general, you are dividing the problem by b. So with that, you will be, you'll be getting the sub problem of size n by b. How many such sub problems? A sub problems. Okay. Now, Tn is equal to A into Tn by B plus Fn. Fn is time spent on dividing problem of size N into smaller sub problem of size N by 2 and combining their solutions. So, Fn belongs to theta of n power d, d is greater than or equal to 0. Now we will see how to solve this uh, recurrence relation. The recurrence relation can be solved in two methods. One is by applying backward substitution other one by applying master theorem so master theorem says if a is less than b power d tn belongs to theta of n power d then if a equal to b power d then tn belongs to theta of n power d log n to base 2 if a is greater than b power d then Tn belongs to theta of n power log a to base b. When Fn belong to theta of n power d. 
So we'll take one example here. This is the recurrence relation I am taking here. Tn equal to 2Tn by 2 plus n. In this example, a equal to b, sorry, a equal to 2, b equal to 2 and fn equal to n. So already I mentioned in the previous slide, fn belongs to theta of n power d, then approximately fn will be equal to n power d. So fn substitute fn equal to n power d. So equate these two n power d is equal to n so d equal to 1 therefore a that is 2 is equal to <coughs> b power d that is 2 power 1 so a is equal to b power d second condition of the master theorem holds here that is tn belongs to theta of n power 1 log n to base 2. So this is the answer. So theta sorry tn belong to theta of n power d that is n power 1 log n to base 2. That's all. We'll see in the next video how to write binary search algorithm and how to solve the recurrence relation for binary search problem. Thank you.